Hi, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, Harsha's Life. So today let's do the Gujarati Thali. So first let's do the dal. Take the tuwa dal, one cup and add three cups of water to it. Wash it properly and then add three cups of water and just cook it for three whistles. Then add haldi, green chilli, ginger, jaggery, tomato and boil for 10 minutes. Add coriander leaves and tomato as well. Add salt as per taste and let it boil for 10 minutes. So that everything gets cooked up. Now everything has been cooked. I have put the asafoetida, hing water to it. Now the tempering with oil, mustard seeds. Master seeds. Then the cinnamon. And add a bit of cumin, hing, chili powder, curry leaves. To it. Add this to the dal and let it remain for five minutes. Then you can add lemon juice if you wish to add it. Lemon juice and coriander leaves. You can add the coriander leaves in the beginning or at the end. So now let's do the Gujarati Bindi. This is the oil, mustard seeds. Now we'll add green chilies. Curry leaves, cumin seeds, this is a very simple bindi masala, now add haldi or turmeric powder now we can add a little bit of chili powder to it just saute it for a few minutes till it cooks don't add water just add a little bit of uh, salt per taste and add coriander leaves garam masala powder And just saute it for another two minutes so that all the masala gets mixed up there. Now let's prepare the famous Gujarati Dhokla which is prepared out of basin. So here I, am, I have taken one cup of basin, little bit of uh, salt and haldi and this is the hing water, green chilies and ginger, chopped green chilies and chopped ginger. And just give it a good mix so that uh, no lumps are formed here. Add water little by little and just make a thin batter. Add a 
add 2 teaspoons of sugar and half a teaspoon of baking powder. You can add a little bit of oil and lemon juice. And nicely mix it. Some add eno instead of baking powder. You can do that as well. And just keep it for 10 minutes. Add half a teaspoon of baking powder now and mix it properly. Grease a plate and pour the batter and steam it. Steam it for at least 10 to 15 minutes. For, for the tempering, take oil. Master seeds, green chilies, curry leaves, so when the tempering is done, I add a little bit of uh, cumin seeds. Then when everything is done, add water to it. Water, salt and sugar. So that the dough class get soaked in this water and becomes soft and spongy. You can add lemon juice as well. So now this dokla is ready. And I will pour this tempering with water on it. Put some coriander leaves over it. So now let's make a sweet dessert using only three ingredients that is the ghee, wheat flour and jaggery. Just take half a cup of ghee and I'm going to fry the wheat flour. I have taken one and a half cup of wheat flour and I am roasting it till it becomes till it turns to a bit of brown color. It takes a little bit of time. I think it took 5 to 7 minutes for me. Add ghee little by little and then just roast it again. This came out very well and it was really very tasty. And it was not difficult to prepare also. Prepare also. So I put one cup of jaggery to it and this sweet is called a sukdi, Gujarati sweet sukdi. Put this on a greased plate and cut it into pieces. The sukdi is ready. So this is the Gujarati thali, rice, dokla, 
dal, bindi masala and sukkadi. Hope you will try this friends and let me know if you try it. Thank you for watching and let's meet in the next video. Bye bye.